Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Today we're going to take an early preview at the Superior Endum Pack for all platforms from Carl Farms. This pack consists of four trailers and one dolly with capacity options ranging from 51,000 all the way up to half a million. Each trailer is considered a bulk container, so you guys can haul around any bulk product in the game, whether that be grass or snow. And the dollies not just for pulling these around with tractors, you can also make a road train if you want to. The bigger the better, just Make sure you got a truck that can handle it. We've also got some additional features with these like dynamic skin mud flaps to swing with the trailer momentum, dynamic swinging tailgate, a 50% tip height option for dumping in areas low clearance, and dynamic animations with sounds. Additionally, the dolly does have the locking function that we get saw back in Farm Sim 19. That way it'll hold the joint in place, making it easier in some situations to maneuver the trailers. I do want to thank Carl Farms for sending these over to show you guys ahead of time before it's released. The video would not be possible without him, so definitely check out Carl Farms, linked in the description, and of course, tell him DJ sent you. So we got a lot of fun stuff. Let's take a look at these in the store starting off. Boom, right here we go. We have a 28 foot, 34, 40, and 48 foot trailers. We also have that Lizard Semi trailer dolly as well. Now, with these, we're basically going to see exactly the same customization throughout the way. So you guys are going to see the same thing here that you are here. It's just bigger. <laughs> and some of them have more wheels than others. So <laughs> that's a thing as well. We've also got different capacity options. So with the smallest one, the 28 foot, we have 51,000. We also have 51,000 with the tarp. We have 58,000, 58,000 with a root crop extension. And we also have the 500,000. Now we have those same options throughout. So 62,000. Then we can add a tarp all the time. And then we go up to 70,000 or again, 500,000. And you can see everything has a 500,000 liter capacity. Your 40 footer right here is 73,000 or it's going to be 82,000. And then lastly, the 48 foot is gonna be 87,000 normal, 98,000 if you put the extension on the top, and of course, half a million like before. Now the capacities are out of the way, let's take a look at some customizations. And of course, we gotta go for the biggest one, the 48 foot, uh, starting off 8.9 tons. You guys have seen all of the customization options, at least for the top. So we'll jump down to wheel options. So we start with lizard tires, then we have lizard with the three axle with one lifting and then continental with the same thing there. Now I'm gonna jump back over to Lizard two axle. We can make a two axle space. We could do three axle with one lift, three axle with the space, three axle spread with one being a lift, four with one being a lift, four with two being a lift, three with, well, four on the left. You guys can see we start to just get a little bit crazy. One thing, if you guys have the eight axle version right here, which will be very popular, uh, you're also gonna have eight axles on the ground which is a lot of drag. So just be ready for that. Just be just be aware. I do really like the Continental stuff. So we'll just take a look at that because it's wild and crazy. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I love it. Uh, sided walls. We have grooves, we have ruffles, and we have external posts. So whichever one of those that you like, go with it. We also have a front wall. We have the ladder, we have the Mandor, and we have Mandor with a window. So you guys can see in there again, these customization options are on everything. Running lights, we have bottom default, and we can pretty much just add more and more and more. And then we could do the top as well, more and more and more. I really like the bottom and top X4. It just... <laughs> There's so many lights. Rear lights. So this is kind of neat too. We have our tail lights. So you could go through and set up what style of tail lights you like, whether you want them to have your reverse lights or anything like that. This is my go-to, but you guys can use whatever you like. Reflectors, yes or no, all the way around. So you can choose if you want those. Mud flap decals this is pretty cool. So we have the superior decals all. Then we have the rear and mid. Now, the way we've got everything set up right now, with our axles, we actually have a little bit too much going on right now. So I'm gonna go back down to mud flaps and you can see, at least we should see some extras pop up. Well, at least it did with the other one. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, middle guards, we've got a couple different setups for aluminum and 
everything like that and attachments on the back you can add that as well this is where the dolly is going to come in handy for you guys green door we have no or yes now i recommend going with yes just be on the safe side but you don't have to if you don't want to main color we've got quite a few first one is shiny aluminum then we have a matte aluminum white paint we have the black paint and then we have gray paint now of course we have all kinds of other stuff too john deere jcb challenger stara fent red we also have case ih massey ferguson and crimson uh, raba the limken new holland a gold offer Deuce far john deere green we have the john deere bright and then we have the john deere dark green as well as brown pink purple azul navy cloth Cloth gray and then we get into the base game color so you can see here that these are going to be shiny so if you go with a base game color it's going to be shiny however if you go with the paint we're going to have a uh it looks like a wooden panel or a, a metal panel that someone's painted so shiny or go through here whatever you guys like i prefer the shiny aluminum so we'll go with that design color this is going to be the cover on the top so if we swing back up here we add a tarp now we could change the color of said tarp if you want you don't have to you can change it whatever you like i think i'm gonna go with jet black yeah next we got the frame there's not a lot of options here but at least we've got some we have the default gray we have a medium gray which darkens it dark gray and then black so you got those support legs you can either do black or steel now this does change i think a few little bits of bobs around as well yeah the uh the hitch on the back does that too and then lastly we have the rim colors everything here you would need stainless steel zinc chrome silver white pearl white gunmetal and then into black and then of course we have all the base game colors if you need to match this with anything else you're good to go and that's quite literally it. Those are your customization options for the trailers. Next, we've got that dolly. I don't want to show the guys this thing. 4.9 tons. We have a lizard wheel option. This actually brings us some different options that we don't have on the trailers, like Trelleborg. Well, well, that's actually the only other one that's different. Uh, we've got a single and a dual axle there. And Continental, same thing through there. And then in Lizard, same thing through there. We do have a couple different wheel options, though. If you guys are using Lizard or Continental, definitely go with those. But hey, you can use this with something else if you want, because it does have a really cool feature. So just going to set this up to Continental with doable axles. Moving on, mud flap decals. You can have these match up with uh, things. So we've got that. We've also got wheel covers, so you can add different wheel cover options all the way throughout. Rear lighting, of course, we can add that. Drawbar, we have the A-frame, or we have the straight drawbar, if you prefer that. Locking dolly function. This, this is the important bit right here. You can turn that on and off just by activating it. It's pretty cool. Uh, main color, you can change up your frame. Uh, the base does match with the other. We've also got our design, which could match up with uh, some extra color options that you guys have for your trailers. And then, of course, we have our rim colors. Uh, there is no license plate option for this like it is on the trailers. So what we've got is the 34-foot version and the dolly. And here we'll pretty much be able to show you almost everything as far as options with this. So I have just the base game Mac Pinnacle 6x4. We're going to back up and show you everything that this trailer can do because it is a pretty darn cool trailer and of course i had to turn on the lights i mean come on look at all those lights shining i love it man yes sir so first is the unfold trailer so what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring down that extra boom just like that so if you have an axle that is a raised axle by any chance you can fold and unfold and it will raise and lower if you've got the eight axle variant for some reason and you want to put them all down well just fold it and you'll be just fine we can also of course open up the cover and instead of it just opening right up we've got an animation to it how noise is that that's pretty good <laughs> that's really good uh, as far as our tip so we have tip side back or tip side grain door or tip side back 50 percent so I'm going to do a force unload here, and this is going to be 100%. So you guys will be able to see the full setup from this. Now it's gonna take it a, a bit of a hot minute to go. Big trailers like this don't just pop up on their own. That is definitely something we get used to in Farming Simulator 22. So there it goes. And she's still going. 
It's still going, man. Look at the reach. Look at the reach. Yeah. So that's all the way up. Uh, if we go ahead and bring this back down now. And we'll wait until it comes back down and we will set it to 50%. Also, you could see the rear gate swinging open as it waits to come back down. Slowly but surely getting right to it. Oh, almost. Come on. Oh, it bounced. Got it. Just like so. All right. Now let's set it up to 50%. So we've now hit 50% and we should see this go, well, halfway to where it would have. However, one thing I am seeing is it's going up just as fast, which is really nice. Also, are the uh, bits blowing in the wind back there a little bit? Yeah, so one of them is. Yeah, both of them are. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So that should be about it right there. Yeah, there you go. So there's your 50%. That's going to be nice. We're going to bring this back down and show you the grain door just in case. Grain door time and, uh, well, quite later just kind of opens it up a little bit and it will tip back a little too. That way, well, you guys know. So it'll tip all the way back. Now, my question is, is this going to tip up to the 50% mark or is it just going to do a little bit? No, it actually is more like a 30% tip. So... Very cool. One thing that I didn't catch till just now is this, the cover animation ratchet. Look at this. Turns it, top's going over, and whenever it's done, it folds itself up. All right, that's just a little bit too cool. So here's when we're gonna get into the dolly. We've got this little red dot right here, and what that's gonna do is tell you when it is locked or when it is not locked. So we'll jump in here and we will click unfold trailer. You see that light appearing? It's just shining off of the trailer in the back. What that's doing now is it has actually set this to lock, which is kinda, kinda cool. There we go, we'll unfold it once more, swing around back, and now there is no light on. Just for funsies, jump it over here to this and I'm gonna do the same thing. It says folding is not allowed while the tool is attached to this attacher joint. So make sure that whenever you set it up, that you do it here before you back in. Now a misconception, this is not going to lock it to the trailer in front. Oh no, 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 no. This is going to get it prepared for the trailer in the back and I'm gonna do a really bad job of backing this up, but I'm still the best backwards driver in farm sim. Of course I am. I actually don't know if forcing this to work is actually gonna work, but it might. It totally worked. <laughs> so now the rear trailer's basically a, a, a trailer, more or less. So let's go through here. Let's do this and again, it will not allow you to do it when it is detached. Um, my only guess is there's probably something going on there and it doesn't want to uh, line it up. I know that there's a trailer axle blocker mod for PC uh, and that works, but only sometimes. So you gotta be careful which bad self. Also, don't just grab these and pull away. Make sure you're good to go. Very cool, yeah man, I like that. So getting set up for our final test here and what we've got is we've got an unrealistic capacity of 500,000 liters and a realistic capacity of 87,000 liters. Both of these are filled up to the max. The thing about the 87,000 setup is it's, all right, we gotta turn these trucks off. That sound is getting annoying. Um, we've got these set up to where this is actually, it weighs 87,000 uh, tons or whatever it is. The cool thing is Carl has made it to where the unrealistic capacity version doesn't weigh anything, so you can put whatever you want in there up to half a million liters, and it's basically like it doesn't even exist, which is pretty cool. Let's go through and let's let's get some selling done. So what we're gonna do is we're going to sell, sell, boom, just like that. I'm gonna back away slowly, and we're gonna see which one of these finishes first, and we're gonna see if it really is gonna take that long to get 500,000 liters to pour out, if it pours out that, or if it is going to have as well of a trip as the 87,000. Uh, just looking off of this, I think the 87 is going to win because I could still see the top of the 500,000. Actually, the 87 is almost done. Oh boy. So that is that is definitely poured out. So that one's done right there. That is, that is finished and 
Um, yeah, so it looks like they tip at about the same speed. Uh, I will hit up Carl and uh, say something to him. Just be like, yeah, we could probably got to speed that up just a little bit. So nonetheless, there you guys go. There is your, uh, well, one heck of a cool mod. By the way, a uh, quick note. This is not a refresh or rebrand of the um, trailer pack that we got in Farming Simulator 19 from Carl. This is something brand new. Super cool. Well, guys, that is it for today's mod preview of the Superior In Dump Trailer Pack for all platforms by Carl Farms. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Enjoy the Go Hemp fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss future mod previews like this one or daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Recording this video and using these trailers ahead of time has been a lot of fun. So I want to thank Carl for letting me use these and sending them over early to show you guys. You rock, man. All being said, just hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.